Let's simplify this expression and write with positive exponents only. Notice I have negative x here in the numerator. I think I'm going to write it as negative 1x, and we'll just treat the negative 1 separately from the x then. So first, I'll use a power of a product in a quotient, and every single factor in the numerator and denominator is raised to this power. So I'll have negative 1 raised to power of negative 5. Now remember, this x has an understood power of 1, so this will be x raised to a power of 1 times negative 5, or negative 5. This y is raised to a power of negative 5 times negative 5, or positive 25. And this z is raised to a power of, remember again, understood 1, 1 times negative 5, and that's negative 5. Then what do we have in the denominator? Understood power of 1 again, so that's x raised to a power of 1 times negative 5, or negative 5, and y raised to a power of 3 times negative 5, and that is negative 15. Now let's continue simplifying. I have this negative 1 raised to a power of negative 5 with constants. I like to go ahead and take care of the negative exponent. So I'm going to write this as 1 over same exact base. The base doesn't change. The power just becomes a positive power when I move it into the denominator. And now notice I have some like basis. So I'm going to go ahead and use the quotient rule. This is that common base of x raised to a power of numerator exponent. Now be very, very careful. Numerator exponent minus denominator exponent. By the way, if you're wondering, well, could I just have seen that these two factors are the same and divided out that common factor? Absolutely. We're going to end up with the same thing. Now here's a common base of y, so that's y raised to a power of numerator exponent 25, again be careful, minus denominator exponent of negative 15, and then I have that z to the negative 5, I'll just simply write that down right now. Let's see what we have. What is 1 over negative 1, that quantity to the fifth power? What is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1? Well, that is negative 1. So right now, until we decide what we're going to do, we'll just write it like that. Here I have x raised to a power of negative 5 plus 5. That's 0. And y raised to a power of 25 plus plus 15, that's 40, and I have my z to a power of negative 5. And now let's write down our solution. Now remember, we want to write this with positive exponents only, so I'll write this z to the negative 5 that's currently in the numerator, I'll write that in the denominator as a z to the fifth power. This is basically just negative 1, so it just makes the fraction negative. So I've taken care of that. x to the 0 power, remember, anything to the 0 power except 0 um, is 1, so that's 1 times all of these other factors, which would just be all of these other factors. I have y to the 40th that will remain in the numerator, and then I have that z to the negative 5, which becomes a z to the 5th in the denominator. Now notice, nothing has disappeared. That's simply negative 1. If you prefer writing negative 1, that's fine. I just wrote it as negative. And here is my simplification.